Hey everybody, welcome to the OgreVision channel. We are putting together a GT Ogre video right now, and I'm going to show you right now just a little bit of how we put that together and what goes into editing some of this, and uh, specifically what went into making the latest video for April Fool's Day. First off, if you've not seen this video over on the GT Ogre channel, then spoiler alert, please stop and watch that video first. I'm putting a link card in the upper right corner, or there's a link in the video description that you can use to take you right there. I think watching that video for the first time before seeing the behind the scenes will make it a little funnier. Or it could make some of the behind the scenes stuff make more sense. Or I'm completely wrong. And look, I don't want to tell you how you should enjoy videos, so just keep on going and spoil the entire thing. After all, who am I to tell people how they ought to be behaving? Okay, now that's out of the way, so we're ready, right? Cool. A lot of people have been surprised or maybe dismayed at how frequently people seem to use a particular corner of our parking lot to relieve themselves. I'm not sure what the particular attraction is, other than perhaps it's shielded just enough from view that weak bladder people seem to think it's just a nice place to go. And to be fair, it's not just one spot, but it's mainly that one spot. Some of you guys have actually suggested we sort of make it official and set up a porta potty. I can tell you that's not going to happen. But a while back, my parents were having a little bit of work done in their house, and they had a new toilet installed, which means there was now a surplus potty, and it was just sitting in their garage. So around that time, I was visiting with some friends after dinner, and talk turned to the GT Ogre videos. A beer or two may have been involved. One thing led to another, and pretty soon we had enlisted my friend Jim to participate as a commode-toting potty perpetrator. I actually did have one objection, though. I've never staged a video on the GT Ogre channel. Everything that you've seen has been straight-up reality. Some people don't believe that and think that things are getting set up or we're using actors or whatever. It couldn't be further from the truth. My worry was that if we set up and staged this video, would that call every other video into question? Honestly, I almost didn't do the video at all because of this. On the one hand, I thought the video would be pretty funny. But then on the other hand, I didn't want to put out a single video that's meant as a joke and watch all the trolls come out and say, See, this guy stages the videos. They're all fake. Then someone suggested that it be an April Fool's video. Genius. I figured that if we posted the video specifically for April Fool's Day, and I was pretty obvious about it being a put-on, that it might work. Another concern that we had was that since what we had in mind was perhaps just a bit off-color, we should find a way to obscure my buddy's face on the video. Jim said, hey, I've got a Bill Clinton mask. Apparently Jim last celebrated Halloween in 2001, but whatever. The idea sounded funny, so we went with it. There's a trick to transporting toilets. Something about my ragtag fleet of cars, they're mostly sports cars and hatchbacks. Fortunately, Jim has a big SUV and the toilet could just fit in the back. So one evening I got together with Jim and Rebecca and we grabbed the commode and rode down to the parking lot and embarked on becoming professional filmmakers. The first thing that we needed to do is figure out where to set everything up with the way that the cameras are mounted. Then it's just a matter of some quick setup. The toilet tank had to be mounted up and then everything set in the back of Jim's SUV so it could be accessed easily. With the plan in place, we got to work. Or I should say that we got out of the way while Jim went to work. Everything went pretty much according to plan. If you've seen the video, then you see the part where Bill Clinton gets the toilet from the truck and then goes and sits in the vehicle and then comes out again. We did that because I needed a splice point. I wanted for him to flush the toilet at the end, which meant at some point we'd have to put water in it, since you can't exactly drive around with a full toilet in the back of a car. Also, trying to lift it with five gallons of water in the tank and not spill any? <laughs> no way. So we have to get the toilet on the ground and then fill it with water, but not have that on the video. That's why he goes back up to the car, so I can come back with a bucket full of water and get it filled up. Then he can come back out. What we didn't expect is one of you viewers showing up right when we were filming. Yeah, no kidding, right as we're going out with a bucket of water, this gal rounds the corner and not only recognizes the parking lot, but then recognizes me coming out with a giant bucket of water. She was super excited and telling the dude she's with, See, I told you, this is the place with the tow trucks. Hey, that's the guy! 
she was really excited. The dude she's with was really more concerned about Jim and was pretty freaked out. He's like, why is there a guy walking around in a mask in a back alley? I don't think he saw the toilet. He was really concerned with a man running around in a mask. We explained we're making a video. It's for April Fools. No, I know this guy, and he's cool. And Rebecca with the blue hair is convincing him that nobody's going to get murdered. I'm pretty sure he thought this was extremely weird. I was like, hey, it's really nice to meet you, and thanks for being a fan, but you got to go. We're trying to get this done before more people get freaked out. We're going to drop this video on April 1st, so please don't go online and ruin the surprise for everyone. Of course, I say that like it's a big deal, top secret thing, and it isn't. But in the moment, I was like, oh man, we're putting all this work in and I don't want it to get wasted. The fans were super cool, and even though I didn't get your names, hey, thanks for coming and being cool and keeping the secret. I hope you enjoy your cameo. So we got the water in the toilet and went on with the script. Rebecca and I watched everything unfold live on the cams from one of the screens inside the building, and we got a good laugh. I really got to hand it to my pal Jim. I didn't know he was such a good character actor. Did you notice the black SUV by the other building? They were there from the very start of when we were setting up. I wanted to check with them first and let them know they were going to be seeing some weird behavior. Please don't call the cops. It turns out it was a mom and dad waiting for their daughters to come out of a concert down the street. They wanted to know if they should move, and I said, Dad, no, I'll, only if you don't want your vehicle to be in the shot. They didn't mind at all, and actually seemed to enjoy the few minutes of entertainment. Once we were wrapped up, I walked over to let them know that we were all done, and thanks for being good sports. The mom was laughing, and the dad says, I was FaceTiming to my son at home. He thinks it's all real. He's freaking out that someone brought a toilet and is just sitting on it right there. I have no idea if the parents let the kid in on the joke yet. Anyhow, all that's left after that is the cleanup. So the part at the end of the video where I come out with a mop, that was totally spur of the moment. The mop bucket was over where the bucket that I used to fill the toilet tank was, and I was like, hey, would it be funny if I did that? Rebecca and Jim thought it might be, and we could always cut it out if we thought that it stunk. As for the toilet, that was its last use. I guess it went out with a bang. We just tossed it in the big yellow trash can and it got picked up with the regular garbage the next week. It was a pretty heavy can when I rolled it out, so I put a little note on the top of the trash can. Altogether, I think we used footage from half a dozen cameras. When I stacked up all the files, it wound up being 11 gigabytes worth and totaled, I don't know, several hours of video. The editing process took a long time. I mean, it always does, but this one just seemed to take me longer. Maybe it's because I had an idea of what I wanted before we even started it, and usually it's just a matter of using whatever happened. Anyhow, I eventually got all the hours worth of video cut down to a reasonable length and then followed my usual workflow on what I do to make a GT Ogre video. I start with a rough cut and then lay in the music. I try to work it so that the video and the music cues go together, and it's a bit of a process getting all that to work out so it feels like there's a soundtrack rather than just music on top of a video. Then I'll go through and see if there are appropriate times to add in sound effects, because sometimes that adds a little bit of funny to the mix. The last thing I do is what I call the snark track. That's where I'll load up all the little comments or fun facts and so on. Sometimes that means I'm just coming up with weird stuff, other times I'm actually researching. Then there are times where I decide I want to create an image or a graphic, so I have to spend some time in Photoshop or in Premiere Pro to get that done. In the end, we've got about five and a half minutes of video, and I've spent a really long time working on it. It's the way that it always happens. I put together a video that I'm pretty happy with, and then post it up online and wonder if anybody's going to watch it. And if anybody watches, will they enjoy it? Oh, I hope so. So with that, I hope that you not only enjoyed the other video on the GT Ogre channel, but you also enjoyed this little behind the scenes look into what happens behind the curtain. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, well then give it a thumbs down. And uh, if you've got something to tell me or you've got a suggestion for something else that I ought to do on this channel, put it in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear from you. And with that, that's all we've got for now. So thanks for watching.